Very good evening to you with the CBC Sports News. I'm Damian Best. Well, Barbados Pride remain in the lead of the Digicel Regional First Class Competition after they drew their third round match with Jamaica Scorpions today at Sabina Park. With a first innings deficit of 49, Jamaica scored 112 for two in their second innings. Jamal Warrican had two for 29. Now earlier, Barbados Pride starting the day on 153 for four were bowled up for 273 in reply to a first innings total of 224. Opener Anthony Allen top scored with 66. Kevin Stout, who resumed on not mid 31, and Mara Rampasad got 36. Justin Graves was unbeaten on 20. So scores in a match: Scorpions 224 and 112 for two. Pride 273. Meanwhile, there was no play on the final day between hosts Trinidad and Tobago Red Force and Leeward Islands Hurricanes at Queen's Park Oval due to wet conditions caused by rain. Hurricanes received 5.2 points and Red Force 5. Scores in that match, Red Force 287 for 8. Match drawn. And play on the third day between Windward Islands Volcanoes and Ghana Jaguars at the Darren Sami National Cricket Ground in St. Lucia has been abandoned without a ball being bowled due to wet conditions caused by rain. Volcanoes lead by 63 runs with six uh, second innings wickets standing. Well, India are in firm control of the third test against England in Mohali. Ravi Ashwin took three for 19 as England slipped to 78 for four at the close of day three, still 56 runs behind. But well, India's lower order had earlier frustrated England for two sessions to push their first innings total to 417 in reply to England's 283. Ravid Vivinja Jadeja, he made 90, Ashwin 72, and Jayant Yadav 55. Ben Stokes, he took 5 for 73. Here are the highlights. So the first ball of the day, and he's away. And he starts off with the boundary. There he goes. Ah, there it is. Has that carried? Yes. He's got that through, and that's going to be four. That's, that's up in the air. Long gone, getting underneath it. And he's taking the catch. So slower ball. And I think it's carried. A very good catch. Moen Ali at mid on. Yes! Big noise. Yes. Meshadu is the man out. He'll be delighted that he's not out to Rashid. Like that. So cook off the mark in typical fashion. Good shot. A very good shot. Ah! That is close. That is very close. And after a reprieve, this might be the end of Alistair Cook. A ball that pitched and spun. Nicely played. Quick on his feet. Will they finally have a boundary? Yes, they do, England. That's four. Oh, yeah. oh, two fouls, was it outside edge? Yes, seems like it. The batsman's walking, the umpire's raised the finger, Jane, the other once again strikes. Oh, well played. Slightly short in length. So he's saying that it's hit the bat mm -hmm. and Virat Kohli goes upstairs. 15 line and we can see it on the screen. Uh, yeah. They made 417 in their first inning so they got a big lead and they have England reeling at 78 for four still trailing by 56. So scores in the match, England 283 and 78 for four, India 417, England trailed by 56 runs with six wickets remaining. Meanwhile, in Hamilton, Pakistan require another 364 runs with 10 wickets remaining in the second test against host New Zealand. Scores there, New Zealand 271 and 313 for five declared with Ross Taylor unbeaten on 102, Pakistan 216 and five without loss. 
Well, Chargers are the new Goddard Enterprises Limited Division I men's volleyball champions. With a new look team this season, Chargers won their final game last evening when they defeated Cormier in a five-set battle, 29-31, 25-14, 18-25, 25-19, and 15-11 at Albury yesterday. Well, the victory was especially sweet for Chargers as they won the title whilst defeating a Cormier team that included former Chargers teammates. On the other men's game, it was a battle for last position as all stars took on Foundation United. CBC Sean Green reports. It was a showdown between Foundation United and all stars in the black as both teams were fighting at the bottom of the table on points. But it was Foundation drawing first blood, capitalizing on an error by Rene Archer. It only took a couple of seconds for Archer to correct his unforced error with a powerful spike through the Foundation defense. All Stars kept their pressure on, gaining the upper hand on this rally, returning whatever foundation brought their way as they took the first set 25 19. On to the second set. And the team's talk at the break definitely showed in defense of the foundation team here as all roads were blocked for All Stars. Here, Cheyenne Freeman with the serve, and the All Stars defense just couldn't handle it. The foundation team was starting to gel in both defense and offense. Take a look at this recovery as Freeman falls to the floor with Foundation doing the impossible as the All-Star boys hit a roadblock. All-Stars regrouped and came back with an effective team plan, minimizing any chance to easily pierce their defense. Now the offensive plan was all set in motion. Not even a double block could stop this point. All-Stars now firing on all cylinders took the second at 25-23. As we move into the final set, all stars maintaining their momentum, denying any access to their defense, but returning fire which Foundation simply couldn't handle. All stars were in the driving seat as they were all in control. Here, Jason Hendy with a powerful spike to take that point. Foundation two had their moments. If at first you don't succeed, then try again. And so they did, winning the point through the middle. Hendy with the serve as Foundation collects and set Shamar Bishop who spikes it home for the team but it was all all stars to take the win with a clean sweep finishing the final set 25-20 to take all three sets Sean Green CBC Sports well thanks Sean finally we're down to our final three great moments in local sports CBC's Mark Seal has number 48 September 23rd, the year 2000, the Sydney Olympics. Obadiah Thompson became the first person running for Barbados to win an Olympic medal. It was bronze in the men's 100-meter final. Thompson's Teddy in four. Off, good start for Zachary. Green Chambers gets up well. Akabola gets up well. Maurice Green running well. Obadiah Thompson has work to do. Pete Pars to take command. Green, Green is winning. Hold it. And Thompson was third in 10.04 seconds, placing himself on the medal podium and cementing his place on history's pages. September 23, 2000, Obadele Thompson wins Barbados' first Olympic medal, a bronze in the men's 100 meters. A great Belgian sporting moment. <laughs> 